Okay, hi there, it's Jeff here with another video uh, on markets and market failure, this time thinking about cross-price elasticity of demand. So cross-price elasticity is the responsiveness of demand for one product in relation to a change in the price of a related product. It could be a substitute, it could be a complement. And the formula is the percentage change in the demand for good A divided by the percentage change in the price of good B, where good B is in some sense related to good A. So with substitutes, well, substitutes tend to have a positive cross-price elasticity. An increase in the price of one product will bring about an increase in the demand for a substitute. So the price of X might go up by 10%, leading to an 8% rise in the demand for a substitute product, giving a positive cross-price elasticity of 0.8. The higher is the value of the coefficient, the closer are the two goods as substitutes. And that means that consumers are more likely to switch between competing products when there's a change in relative prices. Examples of substitutes, I'm sure you have lots of examples in your notes, but here are a few, a few carbonated drinks, the battle for market share in the energy drink, the sport drink market, the soft drinks market, competing games, consoles and platforms, different brands of smartphones and obviously competing pizza brands. Now, a quick look at the diagram here with substitutes. They have a cro positive cross price elasticity on the Y axis, the price of T, product T. On the x-axis, the quantity demanded for good V. So there's a strong substitute relationship. A small increase in the price of good T leads to a significant increase in the demand for V. A lot of switching taking place. Whereas here, a weaker substitute relationship, a big increase in the price of T leads to only a relatively small increase in the demand for V. So both, both products would have a positive cross price elasticity but in the case of the the first one on the left it's a strong effect on the diagram on the right it's a weak effect for two complements uh, the cross price elasticity is negative so an increase in the price of good b leads to a fall in demand for for good a so if the price of smartphones jumps for example people might buy fewer smartphone cases who knows? So a 20% rise in the price of smartphones might lead to maybe a 10% fall in the demand for charging equipment, which gives a negative minus 0.5 cross price elasticity of demand. And examples, smartphones and apps, hot dogs and buns, my favourite, nacho chips and salsa dip, and uh, razors and shaving oils. All of these things have a complementary relationship with a negative cross price elasticity of demand. And here's the diagram. X, price of X on the Y axis, demand for Y on the X axis, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, there's a strong complementary relationship. The price of X goes down, big increase in demand for Y. Whereas this is a weaker relationship, a big fall in the price of X leads to only a relatively small increase in the demand for Y. Both of these would have a negative cross price elasticity, but the left hand side diagram is a strong complement relationship. On the right hand side, a weak or weaker complementary relationship. How might businesses use data on cross price elasticity to increase revenue and profit? Well, here's a couple of reasons. Uh, we, see, we often see businesses using bundling. So, bundling is where you take advantage of the complementary relationship supermarket meal deals, bundle software with computer hardware, buying travel insurance and accommodation packages, games, consoles and apps. Bundling, of course, is where you offer a, a, a bundle price which has the perceived value to the consumer, but it sells a lot of products. A lot of businesses use bundling. And interdependent pricing. Businesses in an oligopoly might want data on cross-price elasticity to determine the extent to which raising their prices will cause a substitution effect and lost sales and revenue. So typically, if the cross-price elasticity is low firms will be more likely to raise price and see revenue and profit go up. There we go, a quick revision video on cross-price elasticity of demand.